LaShonda Jones. My business is Harvest Life. My website is harvest-life.org. I am a writer, photographer, and publisher. And um, my passion is pretty much storytelling. Uh, telling a story about life experiences, uh, growth from faith, uh, challenges of faith um, from a faith perspective, and telling the story of womanhood, you know, who we are as women, um, how we grow, how we develop, how we contribute, um, not only to um, our families, our communities, our world, but also how we contribute to our own growth when we recognize who we are and the fact that we need to grow. Um, and in fact that growth never never stops and when we commit to becoming a better version of ourselves um, through the things that we encounter in daily life then we naturally become our best selves so that's primarily my focus with my business uh, is writing and taking photographs and sharing the words and the images with the world. I'm looking forward to participating in Phoenix's Urban Expo 2020. Um, as you all are aware, this is a unique opportunity uh, to shop with a virtual vendor exposition. So uh, please stop at my virtual booth. I will have a 15% discount. Uh, I also sell prints. So I sell art prints of my images. And most of the images that are currently available are images of many other protests that happened between 2014 and 2018. Protests surrounding Freddie Gray, Eric Garner, and Miriam Carey, uh, women marches and things like that. So there's quite a few uh, protests and demonstration photography prints in multiple uh, sizes and of course with the 15% discount. I'm a publisher of five books so far, um, and the sixth book will be published in January, as I've mentioned before. So, uh, I Am Woman, Experiences of Black Womanhood in America, will retail for about $32, and uh, the discount at the, at the um, during the virtual event will be for $25, plus a 15% discount. Okay? Um, I have two books on my faith journey to this point. Um, the first one is My God and Me, Listening, Learning, and Growing on My Journey. This is pretty much an exploration of family and friend relationships and how they impacted my growth spiritually and um, emotionally, psychologically, all those good things. And pretty much it was written around the time I was coming to Jesus, literally. So shortly after I began a very intentional faith walk. So that's My God and Me, Listening, Learning, and Growing on My Journey. And uh, this one, Desert of Solitude, Refreshed by Grace, is uh, a second part. It's a sequel of sorts um, to My God and Me, written 10 years later. And um, this is more intro, intro personal and pretty much examining my own self um, and my own understanding of what faith is and how faith is not this, you know, this high arc <laughs> or this high curve. It's a whole bunch of hills and valleys, a lot of low, low, low valleys. And so I examined those things in Desert of Solitude. And in between those two books, I wrote The Process of Asking for Receiving and Giving Love and Forgiveness. And this book is all about pretty much, you know, how do we navigate our relationships in a loving and forgiving manner? Um, how do we forgive things that seem so painful or so hurtful that, uh, in our natural state, we're like, there's no possible way I can forgive this person for that. Well, this sort of explores, explores those hard situations. Uh, the process of asking for, receiving, and giving love and forgiveness. And I have two books of poetry. So the first book, I'm going to say this was well before I found Jesus. Um, but I'm sure Jesus understands. <laughs> this is Fantasies and Metamorphosis of Sexual Attraction. And this was the first publication that I did as an independent publisher. So it's, it's part of my pride and joy right here because this is how I ventured out. And uh, my second book of poetry is Clichés, A Life in Verse. And I call this my angst. This is everything that haunted me in my life. It's written about. It's grief. It's anxiety. It's fear. It's loathing. <laughs> And there is some joy in here. But I, I do believe, and what I often say at my events when people ask me about my poetry, is that I had to write these out in order to get to these. 
right? So we have a process in life, and I write a lot about process. Um, we have to process the things in us in order to get the things that are for us that we can't see because of the things that's blocking that, right? And so that's pretty much my writing in a nutshell. And it's also my photography. And um, one thing that I've heard repeatedly about uh, my photographs of the women and I am woman is that I was able to capture joy and I was able to capture some of the sorrow that was very real, you know, uh, for some of the women who expressed it. Because I can't say that every image in here is a happy image. And I was not trying to get the women to be happy. I wanted the women to be themselves. This is not a glamorous publication, but I think it's absolutely beautiful because it's black women being who they are. And more importantly, it's black women saying who they are. And so as I write about this book, I often say this is black women telling the world who they are, not, necess not necessarily listening to what the world is saying they are, right? So again, thank you. So thank you for stopping by my booth. Um, drop a line, let me know what you think. And if you're interested in anything, please let me know. To God be the glory. Have a great day. Bye.